Today, we have a lot of stuff to unbox. Let's dive in. My name is Tyler, welcome back to Nanotech, and we are finally, almost a year later, doing another unboxing. I'm gonna set this big box down on the ground. I think this will be the last thing we unbox, so let's get this out of the way. I know what that is, I definitely remember what that is. Pretty excited to hop in. But first, a word from our sponsor. Today's video is being sponsored by DataCamp. As some of you may or may not know, I actually have a bachelor's in computer science. And one of my absolute favorite topics to study is data science, and more specifically, SQL, which is why I think today's sponsor is so awesome. So DataCamp's mission is to teach data to everyone. You can learn the data skills you need online at your own pace. And the thing I like about DataCamp is that there is something for everyone. We're talking from beginners to pros. And if you're not sure where to start, they have a free assessment that you can take, and they give you personalized learning recommendations from one of their over 350 data science courses that have all been designed by top experts. Oh, and did I mention that DataCamp works in your browser so you don't have to download an app, you don't have to download software, anything like that. As long as you've got a browser, go to DataCamp and you are good to go. They've also gamified their approach to learning so you get XP for completing courses. I'm currently enrolled in the SQL Server Data Analyst career track and I'll earn XP each time I complete one of the courses. Also worth noting that data analysts are still in high demand and due to that, they get paid very, very well. So hopping into data camp and learning a new skill or even honing in your current knowledge could help you on your current career path or even open new opportunities for yourself who knows? So you, yes you, can check out Data Camp right now by clicking my link down below in the description of this video. And when you do, you're going to be able to check out the first chapter of any Data Camp course for free. Yes, you heard me correctly, free. So definitely try it out today. But with that said, let's get back to the video. Now, a lot of this stuff I have been accumulating for quite some time to make this video. Some of the stuff I actually really wanted to open and get into, hey, but I just, haven't had a chance to record yet. There's no way this whole box is for this one thing. Oh, it's not. All right, so we got us the red dual sense for the PS5. Again, some of the stuff I have been sitting on, but this more or less I just really wanted because this red looks dope. I need a PS5 like this. I need Sony to just friggin' start selling plates for the PS5s. I don't understand. Why, why, that, why is that not a thing? Ooh. Now, here's the thing. Obviously, we got this red one here. This actually looks really good, IRL, man. Like, I don't know if the camera is doing this justice or not, but this looks good, red. However, I also have the black one too. Not part of the unboxing, it is what it is, but um, both of these look fantastic, and I need PS5 plates for this. I know you can get on, what's it called? D brand, you know, and probably several other sites too and buy like skin packs, but I want I want Sony just to be like, yo, here we, here you go. Let's let's just let's do it this way. And the other thing, boom, Skyward Sword friggin' Joy-Cons. Let's take a gander here, shall we? Cool. Be safe with knives, right? By the way, if you're enjoying this video, what to do? Hit that like button. If you happen to be new to the channel, this is your first time seeing my face, you might go down there, hit that red subscribe button, support the channel here today. Ooh. Man, those look good. Yo, wait a sec. All right. Peep that. Those look, uh, those look pretty good. Oh, look at that. They even come with the individual covers for the controllers as well. So you can use them as individual controllers. Cool, that match and everything. That's actually pretty dope. Okay, small box next, let's go. Some of this stuff might actually end up being video. Some of this stuff uh, goes with some projects that I'm trying to work on here. This will probably be involved in a video at some point. Seagate expansion for a Series X slash S. Uh, very intrigued by the current storage solution for Xbox. I actually think this is really smart on them to go like this route. It's very simple, 
as opposed to Sony's route where like they're having to approve all these different cards, they've gotta be Gen 4, and then even then, like will it actually work? So the fact that Microsoft is doing this right here is very, very smart. And I definitely wish that Sony would have uh, kind of taken that same route. So it looks like there's just a cover on here. Take that off, boom. Slide, a, slide that in to the back of your console and you have a terabyte of extra incredibly fast storage for your Series S or X. Now, especially after seeing this, this is actually really dope. I definitely was curious as to how big this is going to be. I knew it couldn't be that big because the slot on the back of a Series X is not that big anyway, but that is very handy. And it does have the Xbox logo on it as well because of course, proprietary expansion card here they're not gonna like do it without one all right speaking of Xbox I am very excited about this if you've ever done one of Microsoft's custom controllers you're probably familiar with this box I did one for the previous gen boom this is my previous colorway for a custom Xbox controller I did this like in 2016 I think my gosh Without this a while, because I made I actually made a video over this on the main channel um, about this controller specifically, but it says Analjinx on the bottom, um, green, blue, and purple colorway. And so I did new custom controllers for me and my kiddo. So I'm pretty stoked about seeing these. My kiddos is a little out there. I literally asked him, what are your favorite colors? And then I made a controller around it to surprise him with it. And here it is. So it looks a lot like Christmas is kind of what's going on here, but his two favorite colors are green and red as of right now. So we did a green and red colorway. Um, probably won't be able to show you, but it does say Rider on it as well. And uh, there you go, green and red colorway on a brand new Xbox controller going through Xboxes. What do they call it? Xbox Design Lab. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. All right, so we're gonna put that back in there. Surprise him with that. And now, of course, I had to get one too. Now, obviously, I didn't want to go with the exact same colorway that I had previously because that would be lame. So I thought to do one inspired by my most recent YouTube endeavor. Well, that works anyway. But Nanotech colorway, because why not? White and purple, looking good in my opinion, obviously, as I'm the one that designed it using the Xbox design box. There you go, custom Nanotech Xbox One controller. Xbox controller. Okay, let's go for something kind of non-tech related here. This bag like got torn to pieces and pretty much person that delivered it could see what was in there. But, nice little breath, something a little different real quick. I've got three of the four seasons of Yu Yu show and Stillbook. Yeah? Any anime fans that watch this channel? And uh, any anime fans that care about Yu Yu show? Uh, missing one with Kuwabara on it, but that one is on the way, it's just on back order. These have been like going in and out of stock on Amazon, like constantly. And so finally went in stock and so I was like, well, I guess I'm gonna finally strike. I'm not a big fan of physical media anymore. Like I really just, I prefer just to have it all just digital, just easier to keep up with and everything like that, at least for now until, you know, the licensing goes bad on it and then we all get sad. But other than that, stuff like this, Yu Yu Hakusho, Cowboy Bebop, Dragon Ball, those are about the ones I care to have like physical. Oh, and Gundam Wing. Any of the newer stuff, I do my best to make sure it stays digital because that stuff takes up a lot of space. So this, this is actually, I mean, still tech, but this is something that I got an ad on Amazon for and said, why not? It's literally just a portable light from Loom Cube, Loom A Cube Panel Pro. It looked interesting. I didn't really want to order from their site, so I went, to Amazon was like, let's see if they've actually put this on Amazon. And they had. So I said, sure, why not? Let's see if it's actually worth it. But essentially portable, long battery life, light. Um, they advertise it because everyone's moved to like Zoom calls and all that fun stuff. So it's good for that and throw it up anywhere. So it looks like it charges via, via USB-C. It's got like a tiny little display on the back so you can actually change the color of this and change the warmth, um, obviously via just the standard sort of lighting 
like Kelvin scale or whatever, but then you also change like to RGB colors and stuff like that. But essentially it's good to like mount, if I ever get to travel again, ever, it'd be fantastic for me actually recording videos on the go because like I'm always like struggling for like a light source. And then mostly the reason why I'll use it for is to actually mount on top of the camera. And then you, that's where you can get a lot of good like on the subject or on the thing you're trying to capture, like lighting. So anyways, that is what this is specifically going to be good for. All right, this is the GameStop one. This is going to be awesome. I think it is. GameStop. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, speaking of Gundam, I was actually able to get my hands onto some of the Gundam Asus crossover items. So that's what we have right here. Now, um, they've got a ton of stuff with the Gundam branding. I didn't really care about like a router. Like I don't need a router. Um, I didn't really care about the Qi uh, charger. Didn't really care about any of that stuff, but a mouse and keyboard and mouse pad are a totally different situation. So what we've got here is the ROG Strix um, 10 keyless Gundam limited edition keyboard. And this thing has some weight to it. The packaging though, like all of this, they've got a case, they've got GPU, they've got power supply, they've got motherboard, like it is insane. And you can't get a hold of any of it because I'm guessing of the microchip shortage that we've talked about in a few videos here on this channel. And it's really difficult to get a hold of any of those PC parts and PC components. I would love to do a Gundam build, but it is way too expensive at this current time to try to do that. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be the best looking keyboard ever. <laughs> uh, okay, actually the weight is not that bad. The one of a 10 keyless typically is like portability and everything like that. Oh my God, it looks so good. <laughs> oh, it looks so good, look at that, dude. That is so dope. That is so freaking dope. It actually says Earth Federation Space Force on, oh my gosh. And look, the escape button is also, oh, and it's got a gun on the head down here. Oh, dude. Oh, I actually like those. Oh my gosh. Best keyboard ever, bro. I uh, definitely never thought I would own an ASUS keyboard, if I'm being honest. This is nothing against ASUS. I use a lot of their products in my PC builds. Literally have an ASUS laptop, but I don't know. I just never thought I would own an ASUS keyboard, but definitely looks and feels very top notch. All right, let's move on. Oh, it also, if you didn't notice, it does have detachable USB port, which is also always very nice. Again, if I ever get to go back to traveling and doing fun stuff, like going to conventions and QuakeCon and all that. Show up with a, a Gundam PC. I know if I ever get, get to go back to QuakeCon, there's gonna be someone there with a full Gundam build. I'm gonna be big sad when I don't have my own full Gundam build. Boop, boop. And the award for best ever looking mouse pad, mouse mat, whatever, goes to this right here. Man, that is a good looking mouse pad though, real talk. My wife is the one behind the side camera that I always show the things to. So like half of it is me talking to y'all and then half of it is also me cracking jokes at her because I know she's like over there rolling her eyes at some of the stuff that I say because I am a goofball. And with any good mouse pad, <laughs> not that, you know, you should let yourself drop like that, but in my mind, I've gotten a little more easy with that kind of stuff because all this packaging, surely they, they take into account, like when you see the UPS worker or the USPS worker or whoever just like tosses your freaking box, like surely they take that into account. So I'm not like terribly worried about it. I think it'll be fine. Look at that. Are you actually kidding me? Honestly, they, they get a massive, like huge bump up for me just for like the packaging alone. Like I think that is just so sick. Like I love the packaging on, on all of this. Um, and there you go. It's a good shot of Boom. Someone walks in, sees this on your desk, they know what's up, bro. They know what's up. <sighs> it's dwindling down. It's almost done. I'm not, I'm not ready for the video to end, you know? Ha! Ah, speaking of potential videos, and speaking of PS5 storage, here you go. Gen 4 SSD, two 
terabytes. This specifically is the SN850. I'm rocking a couple of SN750s and my builds over there, those are Gen 3s of course. Uh, but right here we got an 850. This is nearly as much as an actual PS5 itself. And so yeah, but two terabytes of internal storage, I'm specifically going to be putting into a PlayStation 5. So stay tuned, not a whole else to see there. Uh, there's no point of even unboxing this. You can, you, if you've never seen an SSD drive, what? <laughs> what? But yeah. Anyways, there you go. Very excited about putting this into my PlayStation 5 and seeing what kind of performance we can see. Um, any drop-offs from the one that comes straight from Sony, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I genuinely have no idea what's in this. Let's find out what it is. That'd be hilarious. How funny would it be for like a pair of jeans? That would be very funny. You're gonna make content with your new Stream Deck and your new 4K60 Pro. <laughs> As far as that 4K60 Pro goes, I, I actually, mine's been acting, my one of my Abram Medias has actually been acting kind of funny and my 4K60 Pro has actually been working really well. So my build, I actually run three internal capture cards. So I'm probably going to be replacing one of the Abram Media ones with this. The Abram Media, Abram Media ones though are the older of the three in there. So anyways, until they release a new version of the 4K60, this 4K60 Mark II, then that's what I'll probably be swapping to for now. It's one of those things where it's like, you just always want to be ready because if I can't make content, by the way, if you've never checked it out, I have a main channel where I, I make daily content over there, daily gaming content over there. I need, I need to always be like up and running like 100%. So yeah, couldn't, couldn't take any chances on not being able to capture gameplay from, you know, something. Um, this is the Stream Deck 2.0 essentially, or I believe they called this the Stream Deck Mark II, but anyways, they changed the design. They got rid of their flimsy little back, which I don't think anyone was ever a fan of. They introduced interchangeable faceplates, which is really, really sick. Let's see how easy it is to pop this off. Okay, maybe you didn't approach that correctly, but it definitely wasn't the easiest. Anyways, you can actually order faceplates from them. Um, I think they have stock ones, and I think you can also upload your own images. So like, you can obviously create your own button layout here. And then if you wanted to, you can make your faceplate like actually match your button layout, which would be really sick. And honestly, one of the reasons why I even wanted to upgrade to this, but um, if you are a content creator and you do not have a stream deck, I would highly suggest, I'm not being paid to say this, but I would highly suggest picking one up. They make things so freaking convenient and the update of this, I believe it supports USB-C. I'm almost positive that the plugin on the back of this is USB-C, it is. Oh, look at that, it even has a, 90 degree angle plug-in for it. It's also gold plated. That's definitely interesting. Anyways, so they upgraded it to use detachable USB-C plug-in and much, much better stand for it as well. That is not flimsy. Cause like the other one you could, the other one you could like adjust many different angles and it's like, who's adjusting it to like all these different angles. Just let me get it right like that. Okay, final package. I feel like I talked a lot in this video. My bad, having a good time over here. Unboxing stuff, hopefully you are too. Now for the final thing, um, this is big. I don't know if it's as, as exciting as it might seem with it being a big box, but I'm excited about it. Now, if you've seen on the channel previously, I unboxed a Razer. Oh. I unboxed a Razer PC, a miniature one. I mentioned a few things I would kind of like to do with it. So to go with that, I finally have the Razer turret. I know there's a lot of people that judge people that use these for whatever reason. I don't know, I don't get it. I didn't even realize people cared, but I wanted this because this is like, without getting one of those crazy, insanely big couch, like setups I've seen some people have, this works perfectly for you to be able to sit on a couch or sit anywhere and actually have support for your keyboard and mouse. Dude, that is heavy. I guess that's for the stability in your lap. Holy crap, that is actually really heavy. Now this works with Xbox as well. I'm primarily got it to use with my mini PC. Razer dongle right there. I'm gonna put that back, I don't wanna lose that. That's actually, that's like the tiniest freaking dongle I've ever seen in my life. Miniature cable, not a lot else happening in here. Sorry, I was already starting to dig around. Bet that's your mouse cable and would have to bet that is your, your keyboard cable. Now then, let's take a look. So what, this is what everyone's here for, right? Oh yeah. Woo! Y'all see that? Huh? Y'all see that? Okay. 
So you could wire in your mouse into this. Interesting. Okay. But anyways, boom. On the couch, doing some gaming, doing some browsing the web, whatever. But yeah, works with your Xbox. Obviously plug it into your PC at your TV or wherever and you are good to go. So there you go. Razer turret. Finally have one. Wanted one for a while and now I have one and it's going to go perfectly with my other Razer PC for a setup that maybe at some point I will get to show y'all what is up. But yeah, come with the cables to charge it right there, charge the mouse and even connect the keyboard to the mouse is what I'm gathering is happening here. But that is the video. That's everything. I don't have anything fun, surprising to show you other than that. If you enjoyed this video, what to do, hit that like button. If you're new, consider subscribing. A little bit of a chill one today, but had some stuff I wanted to unbox and piling up here, and uh, we finally got it done. So anyways, y'all, have a great, great day. Keep on keeping on. Tyler signing off. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.